Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today behind me, I have a pretty awesome destination travel trailer for you. This is the 2024 Cedar Creek Cottage 40 CRS. So it is gonna have that rear living disposition, predominantly made for a couple, but it's also got a big old sleeper sofa that pulls out to a queen bed. So you can accommodate for some guests, whether they're kind of part-time or some grandkids you know, staying for a week for you. So really nice, you guys are gonna love it. Modern look to it, big old bay windows. It's got really everything that you want, you know, decor wise for sure. The specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that information will be down in the description of this video. And if you guys don't mind, just take a moment, make my day, hit that like and subscribe button, help me keep growing the channel. I'm so close to my entire goal for the year and uh, I could not be more excited to hit that. So if you don't mind, take a moment, hit that like and subscribe button. But again, it's the 2024 Cottage 40 CRS. It's also got the 25th anniversary decals, which are looking pretty cool. So they've been around for 24 or 25 years. Very well established brand, you know, in general. So it's gonna be pretty much a stable in the RV industry. But right when you walk in, the first thing that I notice is pretty much what everyone notices. This is stunning. You have beautiful floors. You have a nice island with a flip up counter but you also get those gray tones. So even though it's light and bright, you have enough kind of darkness in here to really kind of bounce it off there and don't give it that little, kind of like a hospital feel, I guess is how I would say. Dual opposing slides here in this floor plan. So you're over here, you're gonna have your cooking and your entertainment. And then over on this side, you're gonna have, you know, kind of your seating slide. One thing that I love about Cottage and Cedar Creek in general, big windows, big slides. So these are all gonna be tinted. They all open up. They all come with the day and night shades. You know, the old Dracula shades. So you got the half Drac, block out a little bit of the sun, full Drac to block out all the sun, stop the furniture from kind of sizzling up, help mitigate some of the temperature. They're also gonna be tinted and they do all open up again for a nice cross breeze. So I love having that. Now this table has a booth over on this side for some extra storage, a little bit extra comfy there with the extra cushion for your buns. And then you got two chairs right there as well. You also have a little leaflet that you can pull out and expand so that way you can have, you know, more seating for, uh, you know, more people or possibly some room to play, you know, some euchre. That's always my favorite game to play. Fancy looking little light there with the old chicken wire around it. Just looking nice, nice little added touch. But again, just look at these huge windows. You also get the power theater seating uh, by Thomas Paine. So very comfortable. They're also gonna be that quick recline. So they're gonna lay nice and flat for you. Definitely kind of something that I would call like a, a sleeper recliner. You know, that's nice. If you don't like sleeping on the couch, definitely take a snooze there. You're also gonna see stainless steel cup holders, a place to put, you know, maybe some remotes. And then right here is gonna be the control, extend and retract with a USB port. You're also gonna see another USB port and Universal C right there. So they're riddled all over the place. So that's nice for all your devices. You're also gonna notice directly across from the theater seating, the island does not intrude on your view whatsoever. So you got the entertainment section over here, the built-in fireplace that you know will heat up the entirety of this camper on a day that's like 45, 50 degrees, somewhere around there. If you have good circulation to get back to the bedroom, more than likely it will never have to put on that propane unless you're camping in some real cold weather. It's also the Murphy pantry, so you got your hidden storage back there, which I'll show you here in a second. Accent lighting above each one of the slides. So I love seeing that. Gives you out a nice ambient glow to come out and get a midnight snack. A fan to help circulate some of that air. But check out those big open bay windows. I love this. Now, since this is a rear living, they put the windows in the back. Typically on the cottages, they're up in the front. You also see you have the three-piece sofa that pulls out to make a queen size bed. So that's gonna come out right to about there with just enough squeak through a room you know, to get in and out. Emergency exit over here to the right. So pull, push, and plop. You can get out in a hurry. You also got a little countertop space along with an outlet there to charge up your devices. The screen door is going to be located back here just for safety for shipping. Obviously, that'll be, you know, installed up and ready to go. But again, you got your Murphy pantry with the electric fireplace. It also has a couple different color modes. You know, red, blue, orange. You're good to go. White. You also have the Insignia TV, which is going to be a smart TV on a swivel. So if you're the kind of person that likes to watch TV right on the couch right over there like me, just angle it that way. If you're at the theater seating, you know, obviously you can kind of keep it straight. So right under here, you'll see you got a little latch. So you move that over, open this up, 
Big storage back here. I love seeing that. No wasted space. And you got a nice little place maybe for some books or some other just you know, random little knickknacks. And then you actually have shelving here, which is all kind of movable. So you can move this however you want. You also got a little place for some hanging items right there as well. By the way, babe, if you're watching, I love you. Forgot to put on the ring this morning. When I was in Vegas, I put on that little silicone ring. Starting to eat away at my finger a little bit. I forgot to put on my real wedding ring. So hopefully, if you're watching, I'm not in the doghouse. Please be gentle. Got some pull-out drawers right here just to help out for organizing. But yeah, really nice use of the space. There's also a little light right there that I didn't put on. So moving along the slide here a little bit still, they did change up some things. Got a nice, crisp, beautiful look. They reworked some of the cabinetry, it looks like. But they got this nice little glass finish on here, which just looks super nice. Gives it kind of that elegant little touch to it. You also notice that those cabinets there were closing up nice and soft. It's also got the magnetic latch. New backsplash as well, just looking nice. You also got whatever you want to call that. I guess it's for uh, probably a paper towel holder or something. I don't know. I'm not that fancy, but it's nice to have. More solid surface countertops all throughout. I love how they put the black topping outlet. Three stove top burner. And then the oven is going to be the Furion. So it's big enough to where you can cook a turkey in there. You know, absolutely no problem. Over on this side, you're going to have a garbage can, another little drawer, and then some kind of open space right there with those cabinets. And then over here, you're going to have kind of like three dresser drawer styles. So the top one's looking like this. The bottom two will obviously just be twice as large. Furion microwave there as well with some storage here up above. And you notice going hands-free, it's held up with that strut system, which is nice. Another thing that I like, you have the magnetic tab here with the copper tab there. So it's nice, just a little extra touch. And you can see, you got a, you, know, you got a yank on, oh, well, that's a horrible example. That was also a horrible example. I don't know what I'm talking about. There you go. So you can pull on it pretty good and it stays on there when you're driving down the road. I don't know what's going on with that. We'll have that checked out for sure. So right here, you got your island. Very, very good. <laughs> Gosh almighty. Very good space. You can also see you got some more outlets and USBs and whatnot. You also got a fancy little kind of prism light look with that little wood block up there. Four pullouts, all of which are going to be looking, you know, pretty much just like this. This is removable, but the uh, the bottom ones are going to be just a hair, just a hair larger. Waterfall style stainless steel sink with the old fancy whoosh, 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 snake doodad to hit your dishes from all angles. You also got a couple of different modes, like a shower mode and a jet mode. Well, this just went downhill quick. What is going on? Come on. Aye, aye, aye. I'll tell you what, if I didn't try to fumble through this the first time and fumble up my words so much and restart, that would probably be the place where I restart. So if you guys like me, hit that like and subscribe button. That'd be great. Let's go ahead and celebrate the madness. All right. Fantastic fan right there to help out the steamer stink with whatever you're cooking. You are good to go. Let's give you one more little view here. Again, you got the accent lighting there up above. Massive Furion refrigerator, which is nice, and they switched over to the 12 volt. Uh, so that way, you know, you can, you know, use a couple of different ways of power if you're out maybe boondocking in this thing, setting up somewhere that you don't have, you know, power or generator. You could fold up a, um, you know, like some solar panels or something like that. But really good size there. You also have the ice maker, and then the freezer has two different dra uh, drawers uh, for freezing, which is nice. Just to the next part of it, right next to it, you got a couple more drawers right here. You got an open space to store a couple items. And then you got plenty of countertop space, the backsplash, more outlets, and then pretty much this entire wall is going to be nothing but storage. This is going to be where you're going to control your RV, so you can check all your different tank fills, your tank heater, so you can use it a little bit longer into the season or maybe a little bit earlier. Slimed room, slide awning. That's going to be for your fan. Let's go ahead and turn those lights on there too. Little octopus doodad, just waiting for a friendly friend to, uh, you know, hang up on him. RV comfort, so you can control all your different zones for your ACs, AC 1 and 2. That's a control for your max air fan. All right, heading into the bathroom, you're going to notice 
pretty darn large and spacious bathroom. And it's got one thing that I've never seen before too. It's got an LED strip right here in the shower. So how cool is that? Turn off the light, kind of enjoy all the heat you know, from the water. You also got one of the fanciest RV showers I've ever seen. So you got the four heads there. I always love this. I've always wanted to use one, uh, but you know, probably can't be showering at work inside of an RV. But if I did, it would be in this one because I'm a roundy and I got plenty of space right here, you know, to kind of move around. You got that tri-glide glass series to help this open up a little bit more. So that way, you know, your belly doesn't get stuck on the entrance. You also got a little seat right there. And but check out how cool those little ripples are. I think that's pretty neat. You're going to have four cubbies looking just like this going all the way to the floor. More places to hang up your items. Another fantastic fan, again, to help suck out, you know, the steam or the stank. You're good to go. And then you got the old porcelain throne right there. So if you're a bigger person, you're going to really appreciate that porcelain. Accent lighting there up underneath. You also see you've got access to your storage and plenty of, uh, or access, or geez, oh, Pete's storage and access to your plumbing. You also got kind of the splash proof sink right here, which is nice going in on an angle. Show you the old mirror for the bowling gun, baby. I'm in the off season. I've been dying for it. I might need to get the wife and the kids and go up and go bowling because it's been like three weeks and I think I'm having bowlers withdrawal if that's a real thing. I know going crazy in a camper video is. Bedroom, also pretty darn spacious. More accent lighting there underneath that dresser. Got a king size bed with storage underneath. Pretty fancy looking headboards there as well. And then both sides have a place to put up a CPAP machine along with uh, the appropriate outlet. So outlet, outlet, USB, USB, another little USB right up there. And then of course you got some pretty good storage here as well. Both sides are gonna be looking just like that. Ceiling fan, helps circulate some air. You also have another TV, which is gonna be another smart TV. Again, dual entry, so this is gonna be the one for the bedroom. And then you got your dresser right here. So it's gonna have four drawers, like of this. And then it's got a secret drawer, like of that. So pretty cool, you know, maybe put your gun or jewelry or something like that that you don't wanna get necessarily checked out if somebody was to, you know, do something a little unsavory. overhead storage and then what's nice about these is they got the sideways kind of pushing door but just that way you can use it for a little bit more full-time application they went ahead and made this washer and dryer prep if you want to add that in you're looking at about twenty five hundred dollars or so to get that installed at the dealership level you know you're good to go you also have your dryer vent location right there as well kind of prepped up and ready for you Get a nice little vacuum, so that's a nice little added touch. You also can see you have a massive closet. And then right there in that corner, that's going to be an extender um, or 4G LD, LTE network. So you can call up like AT&T or Verizon. Make sure you get kind of internet on the road. You also see you have a bunch of little, little holes right there to put up your hanging items. But all right, guys, if you guys have made it this far, hit that like and subscribe button for me. Again, this is the 2024 Cottage. 40 CRS, beautiful floor plan. I'm going to show you this one more time. I'm thinking that might be the thumbnail. Put my big old noggin right there where that refrigerator is. It'll be good to go. Let me check it out over here, though. Ooh. <laughs> ah, that might be the winner right there. I don't know. It's going to be a tough one. But all right. Specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that will be down in the description of the video. Big old awning right here with the LED strip there underneath. So that's always nice for a good little glow at night. You also notice it has the amber kind of safety light at night right up there as well. As far as underneath the camper is concerned, you're all buttoned up with what they call the rib armor. So what that is, it's going to be six foot paneling to make for easier maintenance. So that way you can get under there if you need to. And don't forget again, it's got those 12, 12 volt heated tanks. So that way you can camp earlier and later. And then if you skirt the sides and all that, I bet you can get some good old Four Seasons out of this. You'll be all right, depending on where you're from. Furion TV, so that's gonna be where you plug in your cable. You also have a couple of plug-ins there for the exterior TV there as well. Extra large little grab granny handle. Check that out. I think that's pretty cool. 
Again, you got the tinted windows, so that's always a big time plus. Now this is eligible for slide toppers. They run you about 700 bucks a piece, but it's a piece of awning that goes from here to here that protects the front of your, or the top of your slide from any sort of debris. It's kind of a maintenance stopper there. You don't have to worry about it puncturing any seals. If you're ever gonna get a leak, it's gonna come from a slide. It's typically one of those bonehead moments, you know, where you don't realize there's a tree branch up there. And then when you close it, you know, it just kind of makes for a, makes for a bummer, makes for a bad day. Your low point drain, it's gonna be right under here. So you see that little blue knob? And then you got your sewer outlet connection here as well, along with your bath tank and your other low point drains, you know, right over here too. 50 amp plug-in, city water connection, fresh water connection, black tank flush, basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Some maintenance access right there. More plug-ins for your satellite and your cable. And you got the fresh water drain right under there. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for me. Again, it's the 2024 Cottage 40 CRS. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. See ya.